Uh, excuse me, sir. Good morning again, young sir. Don't even think about it. Get down off that horse. Raise your hands high above your head, please. Come forward. Stop. How do you do? I'm Captain Feeney. Captain Feeney? Captain Feeney, at your service. The Captain Feeney? None other. May I introduce you to my son, Seamus? How do you do? How do you do? To whom have I the honor of speaking? My name's Redmond Barry. How do you do, Mr. Barry? And now I'm afraid we must get on to the more regrettable stage of our brief acquaintance. Turn around and keep your hands high above your head, please. There must be 20 guineas in gold here, Father. Well, well, well. You seem to be a very well set up young gentleman, sir. Captain Feeney, that's all the money my mother had in the world. Mightn't I be allowed to keep it? I'm just one step ahead of the law myself. I killed an English officer in a duel, and I'm on my way to Dublin till things cool down. Mr. Barry, in my profession, we hear many such stories. Yours is one of the most intriguing and touching I've heard in many weeks. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I cannot grant your request. But I'll tell you what I will do. I'll allow you to keep those fine pair of boots, which in normal circumstances I would have for myself. The next town is only five miles away, and I suggest you now start walking. Mightn't I be allowed to keep my horse? I should like to oblige you, but with people like us, we must be able to travel faster than our clients. Good day, young sir. You can put down your hands now, Mr. Barry. 